Hey guys, I do you want to have a full open source alternative uh, for tools like a Google Sheet, Airtable, and so on, uh, which has a ton of options and can do anything for you almost for free, or even free if you have this through already. So this is no KDB, and let's start with it. So basically, as you can see here, I have a table, which is full copy of Airtable, which I can import it with a one click uh, to no KDB. So as you see, it's a table uh, full of different type of columns and so on and that's exactly the same copy we got here so again this is not going to be and get that thing uh work on your server and even with your domain as you can see here will take you just uh, probably like five uh or seven minutes where the five minutes will be you waiting for uh, it deployed and making a coffee and if you stay by the end of the video I'll tell you where I get way, way, way more uh, hacks and ideas like this. So you start with a simple no code DB in your Google, uh, or you can go in a link below to see and find this tool, right? So this is open source Airtable alternative, as they call them, uh, but it's uh, more than Airtable because you can uh, do way more thing. I'll show you how it works. So basically you start with the documentation, this is the place where you start. Uh, the thing is like, if you're not familiar with the servers and all this type of stuff, it's a bit uh, clunky and maybe not convenient to start to use it, but you, uh, you just, uh, if you if you just want to use it, not install it, super easy. So, uh, for installation, I will use DigitalOcean. You can find the link below with a probably 200 bucks free uh, credits if you get this account uh, from DigitalOcean, and then you can use for any servers, any kind. It's super reliable um, hosting, which I use for years. And as soon as you got it, you will have uh, something like this. This is your uh, general dashboard. You just can go with a regular Google. Uh, account registration so we start in here just create and you select apps so see how easily it works and how visual it is so it's not uh, like a amazon aws something it's super easy to use you have other alternatives like railway uh, and uh, some some other stuff like linode maybe but i prefer digital option so we click here on docker hub and you go with a no code db slash no code db no code db slash no code db it should look like this and if you go to a documentation which we opened uh you will have a, a similar uh manual here for digital ocean app with a step-by-step -step thing and even with this address which you can copy so once again on a page you go to documentation get started to get this done and just scroll to digital ocean uh, and copy it or just type same thing that's it then you click next and you added uh, a plan that you want to use so by default uh, this uh, digital application on uh, digital ocean it's not only like a container or like a small server if you don't understand the, the meaning of the container uh, that also scalable so you can uh, resize it make it more powerful uh, and even attach additional apps which we probably won't do it here but these are really useful so you can edit your plan so if you just want to play and do some testing you can go with that even basic and uh, just resize it to five bucks per month this should be uh, completely enough for basic usage but if you want to make it a bit uh, nice and shiny you can make it pro this containers uh it's a call piece of it again this for scale so if you have like 100 people maybe uh you can actually do it later which is super cool right uh so i start with this one uh with a just one gigabyte ram and one uh, cpu you can uh, read more about pricing plans and differences and sizes for your app here for our purpose this was more than enough right uh, and you can use it in production for uh many people or just even with the five bucks uh that's it so you basically can skip everything else and go click next 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 or even click the skip review uh what i can do also is just uh, rename my thing on next step so let's call it noco test uh it will require from you lowercase thing here and that's it so you can select project if you have any and click next so here will be description of what you're going to get so you will get uh application will probably knock with a knock db uh app in, in it 
and this is description of what you pay. That's it. So your Noco uh, DB will be available in probably like uh, three to five minutes. This is the time which you going to wait uh, most. It took even less, uh, probably just two or so. And now our app is live. Super easy. You click this button or uh, this URL, right? And you will see your knock ready to start. So you will sign up uh, with a, some email and a password if you want, right? So by default, it's just the credentials to log in as a super admin first. So I just put some random thing to sign up. That's it. I'm in here in my knock home and now I can start to work with my tables and do the stuff. Couple of things for you to know. So this is your uh, projects as we call them. Uh, it's an analog of like a basis or something that you may compare, right? If you use AR table, so you can add them uh, more and more, right? And in here, when you click on it, you have option to import data or create a new table. Uh, or connect data sources, which is really cool because here you can connect uh, several type of uh, databases such as uh, Microsoft SQL, MySQL, uh, Postgres, SQLite, and so on. And you can use this tool as a preview for your um, database, which is super cool, right? Uh, and then you just open a table. But let's go to Air Table as we're spoken, and let's try to uh, migrate a uh, couple of things. So for this, uh, you just click again, this plus, uh, sorry, uh, this menu, right? On the tables and import and see options what you can use. So air table, uh, it supports most of the column right now, uh, standard one, right? So what we need is the API key and URL. And let's grab them from our air table. So I go to my uh, developer app to my API key, it's just to copy it. Don't reveal your keys if you have a real account. Okay, and uh, now you just paste the API key here and you open your table. Uh, we need a shared URL, share it publicly. See, your table doesn't like it uh, sometimes. Okay, so enable sharing, for example, you copy this URL. You paste it here along with your API key and click import. That's it. So it imports your Airtable table into our NACADB with a couple of clicks done. Now I have my courses table here with all these bells and whistles automatically and a couple of things that I want to mention about the NACA also. So uh, here you have, as usually, uh, your columns, including JSONs, uh, geometry, and ton of stuff. You can also do a links, which is super cool. You can do numbers, uh, formulas, and so on, so on. So many, many uh, stuff. So say uh, formula, you have syntax, you have all descriptions, super similar to what you know. In your table, a uh, couple interesting things. Here will be details on your table. So if you click here, what will be shown, it will be a could be all details about your courses and it also will even have a relation so if uh, you were say another table have, have will have some link it uh, something to our uh, table right see here we can link it to something so then this uh, relation will be shown in here as you can see you have a full visual stuff plus you have API, right? So with this, right? So you can just copy, get, uh, and uh, like it's a shell stuff, right? There are a ton of options uh, that just show you general thing, how to work with your API, ton of libraries and options of different languages. Uh, you have a webhooks here, which you can easily do. Just click on create, you select an event of your webhook and you can deliver it to several things. Uh, you do like configure your call, what you want to do. So it can be even like some get, pull, del delete request and so on. You can also add a parameter and you can even add a condition and filter uh, for your stuff here. Um, one more thing uh, that I wanted to add will be a domain, right? So this looks not so cool. 
So in settings of DigitalOcean, you just click in here in the main settings and you add your domain. Uh, I want to use my, say, demo, uh, probably I have it. So demo and C, say demo or demo noco db and my domain. Okay, so and uh, you manage a domain. So I just want to add a uh, C name to my domain. I copy this. I copy this to remember subdomain I create. Click add. And I go to my Cloudflare where I manage the domain to add a new C name. So we put this and we put a uh, value that we've copied, right, uh, from thing we created the main. Click save, and that's it. So now I can go to my domains and have two options. So I either uh, it should be an overview even see, see here, right? So it already put it on my domain, and if I open this, I have access to my stuff where I can log in with my login and the password. Sign in and I have it working. Okay, so if you like this and if you want to know how to configure same no, uh, no DB with a more more stuff, right? Such as your own uh, manageable database for this one, how to connect other databases, how to manage this and how to have more 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 tricks. I have a super cool program Full, uh, follow the link below uh, or open just new apps for.com. It's super simple. Naps for.com slash lab. And you will see the program uh, of mine where you will be able to find way, way, way more information and even support uh, via Slack and so on. Uh, where I share things like this and way more stuff uh, on way more detailed level with uh, things ready to you to work on, uh, not just do a ton of investigation, set up stuff, read the docs and so on. So I help you to get your stuff done. So I hope this uh, was helpful. Uh, if you also want to know how to uh, work with uh, tools like Make, for example, and how to connect your NoCoDB, it's super simple actually. Uh, Make has own modules right so if you want to connect your noco to the rest of the world so it has a module noco db so you can say uh, do a search records or get records right and uh, let's quickly connect it together so we have our courses right uh, so make sure you have uh, it lives here in details, right? So you have your API. So you can copy this key from here or go to general settings and tokens and create a new token for you, for your API, click test. Okay, so copy and then go to make or any other tool. Uh, connect this and we need a base URL which will be everything with your domain my domain should work also right because it's connected uh, we remove the slash and um, demo no code okay so we connect it uh, we should be able to see two of our bases which are here right so getting started is my default one so I select getting started. And now I can see my table such as courses to populate uh, these values and work with them. Connect this to any other stuff uh, that you want to work with, uh, literally to the rest of the world. Uh, plus, Noka itself has a ton of things such as App Store, uh, which you can uh, use to connect to other things like uh, Teams, or for example, Amazon F3, where your attachments, right? So if you add files uh, to your NOCA table, you can, it will be automatically saved to S3, uh, for example. And I'll show you this real quick. 
Okay, so this is my uh, S3 bucket, and as you can see here, it's connected to Noco, and uh, this is the instance that has this integration. So basically here you see I got this image saved uh, in image column as attached file. And now uh, it will be automatically saved into my Noco uploads table. And here we have this image. So just to show you how it works. So home guys, this was uh, useful uh, again. In the description below, you will find uh, all the useful information about this video and how to get way, way more ideas like this. Um, so see you soon and hope this was useful. Also here uh, in a corner, you will find uh, other videos on how to work with a make, on how to work with uh, other Nokia tools, how to work with AI and so on. So see you soon.